Came back in. Are you all right? Yeah. This like website's infinitely quieter on my phone than any other website. Like, I can't hear shit. <laughs> is uh, is there a setting to where it's coming out of speakers rather than? I don't know what the alternative would be. Oh, your freaking thing is on. I feel like. I'll have to mess with it later. It's fine. I'll adapt. Who are? Oh, it's not. Okay. okay. Um, girls' room and Vaqueros. Vaqueros the number one overall team. Three of the top five players. The other two, uh, Trevor and now King Larry. Girls' room sitting on the bubble right now. Um, it's about time to the playoff bubble to become a thing. So we got hot sauce and girls room the last two in trivia team and bust and nuts would be the first two out with two other teams behind that. Lots of trivia left, but uh, we keep losing somebody here. Nope. We got us all cool beans. All right. So girls room needs a much uh, has a much needed win opportunity in front of them take down the top ranked team rules a little bit different not really um i think everyone's aware of the the new rules we'll give it a go vaqueros you're the top ranked team do you want to go first second or defer i want to go second i'm good with deferring i'll split the difference and say we'll go second Girls will go second. Girls' room will start the whole game. Five bowl games today. Let's start with bowl games. All right, well, let's just go. Girls' room, what team set a then NCAA record for the biggest comeback in FBS history when they came back from down 38-8 to eight at the half to defeat ECU 64-61 in the 2001 GMAC Bowl? I don't know what any of that means. Taylor, this is all you. Taylor! <laughs> Jeez, we're all off. <laughs> it was last season. Taylor, you got anything? Taylor, do you Can read? he hear us? I don't think he's here. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Better. He's sitting incredibly still. <laughs> Taylor. 15 this seconds. Jeez. Seth, you don't know any of this, do you, Amanda? I don't know. what. I don't know what this is. What's NCAA? This is all for to me. FBS history. I don't know what th I don't know what these are. <laughs> He's out. Need an answer. The Nets. Final answer. It's not the Nets. Vaqueros, fifteen. I have no idea. Yeah, two thousand one's a little before my uh, college football expertise. I don't. I don't know why this is just UCF. UCF is second. just screaming out of even D, or I don't even know if they were. Just say it. That's fine. UCF. All right, UCF, final answer. This is Marshall. Oh, Probably should have guessed oh, that. Should have known. Proudest moment in their history. The old uh, Byron Leftwich. Is that Byron Leftwich? It was. It's future Jags coach Byron Leftwich. Yeah. He's the uh, offensive coordinator for the – Buccaneers now. Well, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, he's getting interviewed. Vaquero is your question. 15 seconds. 
I hope that was the only mess up there. We didn't have a blank category card. Boise State earned their second BCS win in four years when they defeated what non-automatic qualifier school in the 2010 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl? Jesus. Uh, Non-automatic qualifier school. Who's... This is a BCS bowl game. TCU, maybe? <clears throat> Bend it. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of decent schools. That Ten were seconds. Decent teams that weren't. TCU, final answer. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I, I didn't say it was wrong. <laughs> what, what a guy. TCU's right. Good, Broccoli. Good. Good. Taylor, can you hear us, Taylor? Yeah, we'll wait a second. Good call, Amanda. By the way, like, if I if I – Shout over one of you, Granger or Myron. I, I, I literally, I can't hear much. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. <coughs> Taylor. Damn. <I> know. <laughs> He's gone. We lost him. What was the answer to the first? One? Oh no. Marshall was the answer oh, to the first. Yeah. Really? I didn't know. <clears throat> so it was college. This is college football, right? Mm-hmm. It is, yeah, NCAA football bowl games. There were five today, so. It's cold as shit. They were in it, but. I don't know why the. Uh... <coughs> hmm. Category card didn't. Didn't work for me. I hope it's a long time. Okay. All right. One nothing Vaqueros. Round two is celebrity mashup. Does anybody want a double celebrity mashup? Okay. Girls room, it'll be your question. Identify this celebrity mashup. Oh, I think I, I definitely know the inside. Do you know the Girls outside? Girls, question, Taylor. Um, Can anyone hear me? I, don't I also think, think I know the outside, but I, I'm not sure. Us? I can hear you, yeah. Yeah, it's your question, Taylor. Oh. I'm on, by the way, I've, I'm on my laptop now because that whole time I was trying to use my phone and it just wouldn't work. If that's okay. It's okay, we just need your hands. <laughs> Taylor, okay, I definitely know, know the inside. Do you guys know the outside? Yeah, I think I know both of them. Okay, go for it, Taylor. Uh, or do you want to talk about it before? I don't know. Yeah, talk, yeah. go ahead, talk about Kevin it. Kevin James and Will Ferrell. I was going to say that. Sounds good. Okay. Is that final? Final answer. Yeah. Final. Is Will Ferrell and Kevin James the King of Queens? One to one, Vaqueros, your question. Identify this celebrity mashup. Uh, I think I, I think I, I know inside. I know outside. Is inside Jeff Bridges, Granger? I was gonna say outside is Jeff Bridges. Okay, so I think we got one of them, right? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say the outside is uh, Rip Torn. No. <laughs> Maybe you're right on outside. I don't know who the inside would be then. I have no idea who the inside is. How's that? It's not Brian Cranston, is it? No. No, it is. That is, bro. That's Brian Cranston. Okay, go ahead. Brian Cranston, Jeff Bridges, finalizing. 
Not it. I was going to steal 15. I've never seen that man in my life. Nope. I'm not sure. Taylor? Five Taylor, seconds. You are very quiet, also, in case you yeah. didn't know. Can you hear me? You're just very low. It's Larry the Cable Guy. Uh -huh. Larry the Cable Guy and Al Pacino is the outside. Who's Larry the Cable Guy? Is that his actual name? Who's Larry, Larry the Cable Guy is the most... Uh, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy, probably one of the ten greatest actors of all time, I think, undoubtedly. Oh my god. He's out there for sure. <laughs> Uh, he's awful, but he is a celebrity. One to one. Round three is world geography. Does anyone want to double here? Round three of 12. A lot of head shaking. Girls, you're in your question. 30 seconds on the clock. What country borders Bolivia, Argentina, and Brazil? I have a guess, but I think it's wrong. What is it? Do, you, do either of you guys have a guess? No. I think it's Peru. That could be right. But it doesn't... Does it border Brazil? Does Peru go all the way down? To... Bolivia. That could... Mm. Ten seconds. Taylor. It could also be either Paraguay or Uruguay. Three seconds. Yeah. Go with whatever you're feeling, Steph. Peru, final answer. It's not Peru. It's I don't Peru. know why I want to say Colombia. Yeah, I was thinking Chile. I thought Chile, too. I mean, Chile's had that really long, skinny one along the coast, correct? That's what I'm thinking. Brazil's fucking huge. All three of those? Yeah, that makes sense then. I'm good with that, Granger. Hanson? Yeah, that's fine with me. All right, Chile, final answer. It Paraguay. is Paraguay. <laughs> yep. Paraguay. One to one remains. Vaquero is your geography those. question. What country borders Honduras and Costa Rica? I want to say, is it El Salvador? That's around, I know that's around both those countries. Can we, can we double dip here? Yeah, I'm fine with it. All right, we're going to double dip. Go ahead with El Salvador, if must hands in that something better. No, I like it. All right. El Salvador for, as our first guess. Still have 15 seconds left on the clock. Panama? It's fine. I, I have no other guesses. Hanson? Alright, All right. Yeah. Pa Panama, final answer. It's not yeah. Panama. Girls room to steal. Okay, so that's like the the like silly area between like Mexico and South America. Yes. So, could be Guatemala. Mm hmm Could be... Five seconds. Panama. No, Panama is not. Need an answer. Guatemala, final one. answer. Oh, oops, wrong, wrong button. It's Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> There's your buzzer. Nicaragua. <laughs> Still one to one through world geography, minus all the hiccups on my part. Round four is the niche round. Uh, lifelines are not available. No. Both teams sent over menus. Uh, girls' room will be going first. Girls' room sent over a menu of Disney princesses, fashion, and the New York Giants. Girls' room, your niche round is the New York Giants. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> 30 seconds on the clock to take a 3-1 lead. Who picked off Brett Favre in overtime of the 07 NFC Championship game, which set up a game-winning field goal? Uh, Corey Webster, final answer. It is Corey Taylor? Webster. Woo, Taylor. <laughs> wow. You got New York Giants pick. He was waiting for that one. He was. He was ready. Great pull. It was Corey Webster. Gunslinger threw too many. Vaqueros, you sent over Halo, Mac Miller discography, and 2010's NFL. And similarly, you have 2010's NFL. Your question, 30 seconds on the clock when I'm done. In the 12 season, in the 2012 season, two teams went 13 and 3, earning the number one seeds in the playoffs, but losing their conference title games to Baltimore and San Francisco. Who were these teams? Baltimore and San Francisco. So, 2012, it, I know the AFC for sure. Um, NFC. I'm pretty sure I know NFC. Who are you thinking on the NFC? Green Bay. That could be right. All right, now I'm pause. I know AFC for sure. Myron, do you have anything? Dad. <clears throat> mm. The only other one that I would have would be. Uh, uh, I think that's too soon. Ten seconds. All right, I like that. So Green Bay in the NFC, Denver Broncos AFC. Final answer. Shit. It's not correct. Girls' room to steal. Taylor. I don't, I'm gonna guess. Five seconds. Green Bay, NFC, and Patriots, AFC. I bet it was New Orleans. It was the Broncos. NFC was the Falcons. Falcons. Oh no. Atlanta Falcons. No niche points for the Vaqueros. They remain down three to one <laughs> as we head to round five. Finish the lyrics. Does anybody want to double? You know, I was waiting for this. You want to do it? This I don't is a know. Good one. It's, is it a good? It is a good one, but it could be anything. Yeah. So I say I don't think so. <laughs> okay, then no. No doubles either way. Girls room, your question. Thirty seconds. When I'm done, finish these pink lyrics. Party crasher, panty snatcher. Call me up if you a gangster. Don't get fancy. Just get dancy. dancy. <laughs> yeah? Don't. No? What'd you say? Don't get fancy. Just get dancy. I think it's don't get na nasty? No. Uh, Frank. I think it. What'd you say? Don't get fancy. Just get dancy? Yes, I did. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I guess Don't that. get fancy, just get dancy. Final answer. That's exactly right. Nice stuff. Cool. <laughs> There's not the double might have hurt, but they did get the point. Four to one girls room up on the top ranked Vaqueros. Your question, Vaqueros. Finish these Luke Bryan lyrics. Shake it for the catfish swimming down deep in the creek. I don't know. I think it's shake it. I want to say shake it for the moon. Shake it for me, girl. Uh, I, I don't know if that's right. I don't actually. I know it's not right, but 
I have no better guess. But they lost. They lost me to Luke Bryan. <laughs> it's like it's shake it for the something something honky tonk. Does it narrow down too many country songs? Twelve seconds. Go ahead, Myron. We'll go with your guess. <laughs> go ahead, say it. Shake it for the moon. Shake it for me, girl. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> I the, the girls are to steal. It's listening to you say it, though. <laughs> the words to this song. That's, uh, I don't listen to country music. I don't listen to country guess, music either. I think it's shake it for the world. Shake it for me, girl. That would be <laughs> five seconds. Is that final? Yeah, yeah final. Final answer? Yeah, final. Shake it for the world. Shake it for me, girl. It's not either. It is shake it for the, I'm sorry, for the crickets and the critters and squirrels. Life just doesn't even run. The country. Four to one. Girls' room in the lead through five rounds. Round six is potpourri. Anyone want to double this one? The Vaqueros have a double and a mute. Girls' room has everything. Oh, the mute? I didn't even realize that was back. Exciting. Do we want to double or do we want to hold it? Mm. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> Stop. Um, Ty, can you read? I can You're read. On this round. Okay, do you want to double this one? <laughs> no, we won't. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, no, this can be anything. I knew the yeah. last one could be anything, but this one truly can be anything. <laughs> All right, well, hold it. Vakaros, you're holding as well, I gather. Yep. You guys pick. Girls Room, your question, 30 seconds on the clock. A word made famous in America for criminal proceedings. What is the Latin word for elsewhere? Ten seconds. What do you mean criminal proceedings? What do... Any guesses? I don't have anything. Vacant? Three Absent? seconds. I don't know. Go for it. Vacant? Final answer? Black carrots to steal 15. Ranger. I know I should know this, but I have no idea. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, Granger. Yeah. <laughs> Just think of something. I don't know. The only thing that's making me think of it is like the Novo review. Five seconds. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Um, oh. Granger, uh, say something. Whatever. De Novo, final answer. <laughs> it's not De Novo, it is Alibi. Ow. Oh. Alibi, meaning elsewhere. Vaquero, is your question potpourri to cut it to two? The height and width of horses is typically measured in what? That would be hands. Bingo. Hands, final answer. <laughs> His hand. Great. Great pool there, Myron. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> His hands. Like actual Four. hands? Mm -hmm. They're like uh, 14 it's hands. A unit of Myron, what is what it? Like what is tiny hands, though? Yeah, what if you have really small hands? It, it's really actually small? literally a hand length. Yeah. I think the so it varies from the person. Yes, that's not very official. 
<laughs> well, you know, they didn't no. have rulers when they were settling the old west. Interestingly enough, it was a lyric to a song that made me look that up. The Luke Bryan song, I gather, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't listen much to those. <laughs> There's a <laughs> surmise. Four to two. Bonus round. Girls' room will start us off. We're looking at colleges. Standard bonus round. Nothing crazy. Girls' room starts when you see the question. Name the top 24 colleges of 2021 according to Forbes. Ivy? Yeah, well, uh, um, I, I would, would think so, yes. Harvard? Yeah. Harvard, Harvard. Okay. So we can go, I mean, Stanford? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Final answer. Final. Yale? Yeah. Yale, final answer. What's another big Ivy League? I know Brown. Uh, Pennsylvania. Pen like Pen uh, Pennsylvania, not not. How about Penn how State, about we go with Cambridge? Final answer. Is Cambridge here? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Go ahead, Myron. I said it. Cambridge, final answer. Can you clarify what you mean by Cambridge? No, the school in Massachusetts. Oh no, he means he means MIT. MIT, final oh, answer. Sorry. Oh yeah. So I say like Cambridge is in London. Yeah, he means MIT, MIT, final My fault. I will give MIT. I was going to clarify that this is only American colleges if you meant Cambridge. Uh, I probably yeah. did because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'll, I'll give gonna the say point. Brown next. Yeah. Brown, final answer. What about, uh, Myron, what I about, what, what about, like they're they're definitely gonna be up there, right? Oh, oh I got one for sure. Okay. Go ahead. N NYU. Okay. You like that? Yeah, that's fine. All right, NYU final answer. Damn it! I think I I got one. What are you gonna say? Uh, Michigan. I don't know. We still have more Ivy Leagues, if that's... Brown not being up there. I have an Ivy League. Yeah. What's your stuff? Am I out? What is that? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I think you're lagging a bit. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me. Well, send it, Steph. You hear what said, Amanda? I, I guess she can't hear us. Nope. All right, Taylor, I guess you don't yeah. have it. Yeah, what just. Am I, am I still frozen? Um, Georgetown. Yeah, yeah, they're they're prestigious. Georgetown, final answer. Georgetown is on there. Amanda. Yeah. Princeton. Yeah. All right, Princeton, final answer. Princeton hey, is uh, you, need it, you need this. Hey, uh, what about? I know Vanderbilt's like really high. Uh, I was going to say Northwestern. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. I, I know for a fact Vanderbilt's like a and Duke for that for that matter. 
I think we should try to cross off Ivy League first, though. I don't know any other. I don't know any other ones. Okay, well, send send what whatever. About, you, what? What about the, the West Point? Whatever, y'all say whatever. That's okay. fine, Myron. We'll, we'll go with you. Uh, West Point, the U.S. Military Academy. Final answer. <laughs> Unreal. Nice. V- Vanderbilt and Duke are on there. I'm gonna piss at y'all. Melons on there. They gotta be on there. Can y'all hear me? This room gets yeah. the wind. Can, yeah. you, Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. The rest of your answers: Northwestern and Vanderbilt are on the list. <laughs> Hey, and look, Duke. And yeah. Pennsylvania. Damn. Right. We're going to get run out the building. <laughs> I'm going to get Melon in on there. Shit. There is uh, lots of trivia left. Both teams still have a double. There are 14 points left on the board. Girls room currently up four. Round seven. Movies. Does anyone want to double here? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll we'll go ahead and double here. You want to hold it? Motherfucker. I'm going to hold it. This was doubled last time, only. Did I know it? Do you remember? Yes. So I think we can hold it. Girls room holding. Yeah. Steph, can you hear us? <laughs> no, I heard it, it was broken up. I heard that, but like barely. Yeah, you you're lagging now? out again. I'm going on, on my computer. <laughs> Jesus. What I missed yeah. first round was it? I saw college bowl games or something. What are you saying? So what did I miss first round? College bowl games. Be a college teams of some yeah, sort of. It, it was college bowl games. Oh. Came in for a second on my phone and then. Okay, no doubles other than or none from the girls' room. Thirty seconds on the clock. What 2018 movie is this still from? Taylor, anything? I don't even have a guess. Nope. It's a movie I've never seen in my life, so... Came out in 2018. I don't even. I don't. I don't even have a guess. These people look very unfamiliar. Nope. Pass. Pass. Akira is 15 seconds to steal. It's one of those like comedy movies with her in it, right? Yeah, it's the one with Sandra Bullock where she's their spies. Or no, something. that's not 2018. You're thinking of uh, that, that that movie came out way before. That came out like 2013 or yeah, something like that. Um, no, it's the one where I think she like stole the identity of like Jason Bateman. Yeah, uh, I don't know the name. Whatever. Go for it. I don't know. Identity theft. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Identity theft. Final answer. <laughs> Not identity theft. This oh. is... Can you ever forgive me? Oh, no. I wasn't even thinking of the right movie. Never heard of it. I believe she's nominated for best. <laughs> for two points... To cut it to two, Vaqueros. What 2013 movie is this still from? No idea. It's 
What was the name of the last Bridget Jones movie? <laughs> I don't know. That's Bridget Jones 3. That's what that is. <laughs> Hanson, I'm assuming you have no clue, correct? <laughs> Does it look like the type of movie I would watch? <laughs> Yeah, bro, that's Bridget Jones 3. I'm on my computer. Don't yell at me. But here are my hands. Benny, we're going to go with the Bridget Jones 3. Fill in the rest. Final answer. <laughs> it is not Bridget Jones 3 First Blood Part 2. Girls Room 15 seconds to <laughs> reveal. Steph, this movie is from 2013. Thank you. But I still don't know. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> No idea. No clue. The airport. <laughs> Travelers. <laughs> the passport. No clue. Another Five one seconds. I've never seen. Any guesses? One for the for the holidays. Final answer. <laughs> this is Philomena. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's Never even like, heard of it. Sounds like Latin for Bridget to, Bridget Jones 3 to me. <laughs> it is uh, Judy Dench and Steve Coogan, I think. Vicaros miss out on a double, still down 6 2 with 2 4 6 8. 11 points left on the board. Plenty of time. Round 8. Brand slogans. Girls' room, do you want to double? How do we feel about brand slogans? Like, I don't know, kind of confident. Um, what, Taylor? Oh, I don't feel great. Stuff is kind of confident. No, so we no. can save it. Yeah, let's save it. Excuse me. Okay. Girls Room, your question, 30 seconds on the clock. What brand claims their company is new money? Thing we saved it. Oh, yeah, good thing. Any clue? <laughs> well, I would assume it would be a newer company. I have no idea. No clue. 12 seconds. Taylor, any guesses? No guess. Three seconds. Pass. Vaqueros to steal 15. Isn't that Dallas Mavericks? Isn't that like Chime? I was thinking something like that. I think it's got to be like Chime, one of those. or uh, Like a newer bank? Yeah, like, one of those like ones a, you just sign up and you get discounts or something like that. Yeah, I'm good with that. What do you think? My silence is indication of uh, lack of... Chime, money. final answer. <laughs> this is PayPal. Oh! There's no cigar. This would PayPal. Akira, is your question to cut it to three? What brand claims their products are made to be worn? What about the Levi's jean breeches? It's not a bad guess, actually. Or Duluth Trading Company. No. I don't think it's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm fine with whatever. I don't think it's Duluth. They they do have a slogan, but I don't I I don't think it was Duluth. No buck, no pool. <laughs> was Levi's a gas iron? No, I mean I, I. 
something something yeah tells I, me. I i feel like levi's sounds good to me too 10 seconds we good yeah levi's final answer it's not levi's girls win to steal 15. my first thought was jeans too but i was thinking rank that might be it i yeah. was thinking converse but i think yours is better Yeah. Five seconds. Go for yeah, it. Sit. We'll go Wrangler jeans. Final answer. This was Ralph Lauren. No. Ralph Lauren. <coughs> Six two. There are nine points left on the board. Vaqueros have a mute. Girls' room has all three lifelines. Four rounds to go, and we are at art. Does anybody want to double? What's a mute? You can mute one player from the other team for their question. Oh. <clears throat> Does anybody want to mute now? We should do it. Uh, Stephanie's <clears throat> good at our questions. Okay. All right, that's fine. Go ahead. All right, we're not doubling. Well, she's not responsive anyway, so maybe we should use it on somebody else. No, no, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, You're being fine. really still when the screen's down. I'm, I'm good with no, that. No, it, it froze for a second. Okay. But we should double. Get her, get her out of here. Wait, who has to decide on the choice? Get her out of here. I'm in a All different right, country. Yeah. Give well, me a chance. We'll we'll no, she's <laughs> unreliable to double. mute her. Lock here, uh, the double gets the priority. So if you want to lock in your mute and mute Steph, I will then ask if they want to double. Well, I don't want to be rude. We should definitely mute her now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so Steph will be muted. Girls' room, do you want to double? No. Girls' room is holding. Steph, goodbye. Steph is we got muted. This is terrible. Actually, there it goes. Girls' room, 15 seconds on the – or 30 seconds, I apologize. <laughs> Steph, sign language. Sign language, Steph. Steph, you can, you can help. You just can't write or sign. Um, you, okay. can, you can mime. You can do mouth, mouth words. really fine, well. No written words and sign language uh, counts for that. So I don't know. 30 seconds. What is the name of this Botticelli painting? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Oh, that's tough. Botticelli? Borsicelli. <laughs> I can put the question back up there and save probably some pain. Borticelli? His name is the name of the painting? Ten seconds. Borticelli. <laughs> Baby. Born. Born. Frick. No. <laughs> <laughs> An answer. Born of the shell. Out of time. Vaquero is fifteen to steal. I think she's trying to say born of the sea. <laughs> okay, I'm good with that. You like that? Yeah. That mute is a devastating tool. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, born, that of, born of the Sea, final answer. Especially devastating because she knew it. Yeah. This is her favorite Steph, category. Steph, go ahead. What is it? I knew this from the jump. <laughs> what is it? I am big mad. Wait, is it our turn? It's it's over. What is it's it, over, though? Steph. Oh, the birth of Venus, Jesus. 
It is the yes. birth of Venus. Oh, nice. I saw that they have that at the- Y'all are wrong for that, Vaseline. Y'all are so <laughs> wrong for that. <laughs> Yeah. Very successful mute from the Vaqueros, and it is your question. 30 seconds on the clock. What is the name of this fair mirror painting? Uh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> what, what, is it, what is it? What is it? Myron Bold and Brash. <laughs> <laughs> More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, any any guesses? Who farted? <laughs> Cocaine coming down. I don't, say something. <coughs> As of right now, Bold and Brash is the uh, clubhouse <laughs> winner. So, uh, twelve seconds. Bold and Brash, finally. Bold and Brash, finally. Bold, yes. <laughs> It is not bold and rash. Girls room 15. Girl with the pearl earring. Yep. yep. Final answer. It is girl with oh, the pearl. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> That's that easy? Yep. That could have been a lot worse. 7 <laughs> 2. Girls room up 5. There are 7 points left on the board. Round 10 is television. Girls room, do you want to double or mute? Is anyone good? We should television? double one of these rounds. Not television. Round 12 will be doubled if you have it by then. The only problem is if given them the I don't think television would. Television is very <sighs> weird sometimes, most of the time. Okay. Like talk show hosts or freaking oh, yeah, game yeah, shows yeah. or something weird. So no double or mute? Do we want Amanda, to mute? Amanda, are any of them good at TV? You know? I don't remember. <laughs> All right. Girls, dream your question 30 seconds on the clock. In 2021, what show earned its 10th consecutive Emmy nomination for Outstanding Animated Program? What are some good animated shows? I have one that comes to mind, but I don't think it's Emmy worthy. <clears throat> Tenth consecutive nomination, so it's been around for a while. I what were you thinking? I don't think it's good. What? I don't think it's been around for that long, or a good enough Emmy, like Emmy worthy. Yeah. What about like the Simpsons or South Park or something? South Park, card no. Um, Simpsons? Simpsons, possibly. Taylor. I feel like it's always the Simpsons. Simpsons. I was gonna say, um, no, just go with the Simpsons. Okay, Simpsons final answer. It's not the Simpsons, Vaqueros to steal. Bob's Burgers, right? No, Bob's Burgers. I feel didn't they? Did that Dude, get it's not something cool like South Park. They're never gonna give it to South. No, Park. I know it wouldn't be it, something. Yeah, South Park's lame. too much. I don't think it's Bob's Burgers, but well, it's not. It's not. Uh, what well, what else could it be? I don't know. You can go with Bob's Burgers. That's fine. Anton, what do you think? <laughs> Bob's Burgers is fine, Granger. Go ahead. All right. Bob's Burgers, final answer. Hey, good you guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's for you, Brock. It is. Hey, Bob's well, that's uh, now we're even for Vanderbilt and Duke. So nominated Dude, every Northwestern in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so I don't want to hear. Uh, South Park has the third longest active streak, by the way, of nominations. In between Bob's Burgers and South Park is Big Mouth. 7-3. Uh, 
two, four, five, six points left on the board. Vaqueros to cut it to three. Since the since the 2014 inception of the Emmy for Outstanding Structured Reality Program, only two series have won. Name either series. What is it? Big Brother, maybe? Structured Reality? No, bro. That's like The Bachelor or something. No, I, I, I want to say Big Brother, man. If, that's, if you truly feel it in your heart. It wouldn't be The Bachelor. Only two series have won. I'm telling you, The Bachelor it doesn't win. I don't think it wins awards though. Dog, name like it's a girl it's known it's known for being shitty television. Name one girl that doesn't love The Bachelor. It's not that's not it's what the committee likes. It's not what the random basic girls like. I don't know. I like Big Brother more way more than I like The Bachelor. Go goodness. for it. Send it. Uh, Big Brother. Final answer. <laughs> Girls' room to steal. Any guesses? Steph, maybe um, Survivor or something. Since twenty fourteen, was that still around in twenty? Uh, I feel like that's been around for a while. Five seconds. Want to go for it? Yeah, go for it. Survival final, final answer. It is not Survivor. I think they're in their 42nd season this year. Queer Eye and Shark Tank are the oh, two. Man. <laughs> Definitely oh, not really Bachelor. Good. So good. <laughs> we have a new slogan for the gauntlet, though. Uh, I like Big Brother way more than The Bachelor. <laughs> 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 Uh, seven, three, five points remain. It is still, uh, still, still got a shot. Vaqueros, you need points though. Food and drink. Any right answer, I believe, will be curtains for the Vaqueros. Girls' room, do you want to mute or double on food and drink? Definitely what? Should not double. Should not double. <laughs> All right, then do we want to mute anyone? Is anybody really good at foods and drinks? Is this happening again? Steph, no. What? What? Stay with us. All right, we're not going to do anything. Um, okay. We should double. Girls, turn your You should your double? Question. It's too late. Gives them the chance to get I think we should. Oh, God. It gives them the chance to come back. We, we just need one. I'm sorry. We don't get it. And then they get but it. then don't we have to double the last round anyway? Do we have to? Yeah, it's either this one or the next one. Oh, that's my fault. I didn't know that. And we should oh. also... No, either that or we meet one of them for this one. <laughs> Definitely. I need a call. Steph, it's your call. Double. All right, lock her in. Food and drink will be doubled. Two points. Girls' room, if you get this right, you win the match. What is it called when a dish is covered with alcohol and set alight? Flambe. Flambe, yep. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> Flambe. Ball game, girls get a much needed win. I swear, Steph, I swear. That's oh my god. Fun. We'll finish it out. Vaquero is your question. Natural vanilla comes from what plant or flower? I just always called it a vanilla bean. Yeah, I don't know. I've only seen like vanilla. I've seen vanilla extract and I've seen vanilla bean powder. That's that's about it. Anthony. Go ahead, vanilla bean. Final answer. Steel. I'm not sure. It's in Madagascar. I know that. 
It might even be called the Madagascar plant. I don't know. Got nothing else. Or Madagascar final answer? From an orchid. Oh my god. Um, Are you serious? Orchid. That's what's it. Yeah. Interesting. Round 12 is history. Girls turn do you want to close the door them, my dog is. Yeah. We should mute one of them for fun. All right, who do we want to do? <laughs> Granger? <laughs> Taylor, take your pick. Mom, are you going to be quick? What did you say? Who should we mute? Oh, I don't know. I say Myron. You say Myron? Yes. Or Brock. Is this the game you got? Or Granger? Oh. I think Granger. I was going to say, you're only limited to those three choices. All right, Granger, we're meeting you. <laughs> Granger will be muted. He's unmute. He's uh, able to steal if it can be stolen. Your Sorry, Myron. You, you need to do your lift in here. <laughs> yeah. List these events in order of occurrence. Don't ask, don't tell. Signed into law. Hurricane Andrew and the Waco siege. Okay. I actually kind of, I can help here a little bit. That's not our question, is it? I know. Oh, my bad. Okay, so... Don't ask, don't tell was Clinton. I don't know when signed into law was. Or any of the... Who, who, what is her... When was Hurricane Andrew, Mrs. Amanda. Meteorology? I feel like that would be last. Hurricane Andrew. Okay. We can also double dip. How would we double dip? But then they, if we get them both around, then they know the answer. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this I point. But. I, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Either way, we can double dip. All right, let's double dip. Okay, but let's let's have an idea first. <laughs> Ten seconds. Okay, so I, I want to say, wait, go, don't ask, don't tell, sign into law, Hurricane Andrew. That's what I want to say. All righty, stand up. That is not correct. You have about five seconds left. All right. Okay. Flip the two. I'm going to do the next one. Shuffle them. Oh, God. All right. What did you say first the last time? Waco? Waco. So signed into law, Waco and Andrew. Final. She's not it either. To steal Myron, wasn't, wasn't Don't Ask, Don't Tell Bush administration? It was. Hurricane Andrew was in 1992. The Waco siege was in the late 90s, and Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Okay, so tell. Andrew siege, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Correct. Correct. Andrew siege, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Final answer. That is correct. A pair is given point. Much needed for stats. A chance to get to five minus Granger. List these events in order of occurrence. No child left behind signed into law. Facebook launched and the DC sniper. Okay, so no child left behind was Clinton. Um, DC sniper. No, no, no. I'm almost positive it was Clinton. No child left behind was Barack Obama. No, it wasn't. Okay. Let's not trust the guy that... Bush. So it was Bush. He's, Granger says it was Bush. It, I think it... Okay, then you're right. It was It was in the Bush era. Okay, well, um, Facebook launch was like in 2006 and 2008. So you're saying Sniper won, and then no child... And then Bush... Uh, sniper won, no child left behind to Facebook last. Final answer. <laughs> I have forgotten myself. Let me look. I'm, I'm, telling you, I'm pretty sure Clinton was Clinton was no child DACA, left behind. DACA was the one I was thinking of. That's why I messed that up. <laughs> Five seconds, girls. Win. Oh. oh, um, Jesus! What did they say first? <laughs> 
it's a uh, sign to law sniper launch. Final. Final answer. That is correct. Wow. No, you can wow. thank Laura Bush for No Child Left Behind Act. GG. GG. Good guy. And points gets a much needed win. Statement win. Well deserved. Oh. Yeah.